everybody. Did you miss me? It's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. <laughs> How are you guys? Uh, I know it's been a minute since I've gotten a fresh video uh, up. I had a week of fails. Honestly, it wasn't like I was taking a break or anything. I really wanted to start a new series on deconstructed blooms. I failed like eight times on a 12 by 36, like big fails. So gonna put that to uh, a rest for a little bit, do some smaller things tonight. I'm gonna do an eight by eight, a 10 by 10, and a couple little boxes, because um, I haven't done them for like a year. So I did a couple, a few weeks back. They look like these. These are little, I call them bloom boxes. Get it? <laughs> uh, you get these at Michael's. You do need those little eyeglass, um, screwdrivers to take all the hardware off. I double tape it, double, double, sometimes triple tape it to keep everything off um, the wood. And then you just paint on both sides. There's one, they come in a couple different um, sizes and shapes. This is another one. So I'm gonna do two of those tonight. And uh, in honor of Remembrance Day and Veterans Day, I'm gonna use a color I hardly ever use, which is red. So do um, some things with red and, um, oh, before I forget, a little longer of an intro because I'm using new products now. I found a replacement that I like um, to replace that uh, Sherwin-Williams HGTV Ultra Deep Base Untinted House Paint. That's such a mouthful. Um, I have switched and I've been pretty happy with it despite the fails. It's this stuff here. You can get it at Home Depot. This is Bear's, um, well, you can read, right? Interior, exterior, um, high gloss enamel, number 8300. Uh, it works great. It has that same like gelatin consistency as the HGTV um, stuff did. I mix it with my Minwax Poly Acrylic here. Now in the old stuff, I used a two to one ratio. So if I did 16 ounces, if I made, cause I always make up quart size batches of everything. So if I did 16 ounces of the untinted um, house paint, then I would do eight ounces of the Minwax Polycrylic and mix it up and that's my pouring medium. This stuff is slightly thicker, so my ratio instead of being two to one is more like two to 1.2. So if I mix up 16 ounces, instead of doing eight, I'll do 10 ounces of the polyacrylic. So that is the difference if you switch you might find that it's slightly thicker. Your mileage might vary. Everybody has, um, you know, their own preferences. Um, I'm also using a new base paint instead of my Glidden Essentials, which I still like, don't get me wrong. But um, I'm trying not the Sherwin-Williams color to go. This is sample paint. It only comes in white. I guess you can get colors added to it, and it's in satin, and you can only buy it by the quart size and they don't sell it at my Home Depot or Lowe's. They only sell it at the Sherwin-Williams uh, store. So all of this will come up at the end of the video with pictures, recipes, colors, brands, all of that for you to screenshot. You can also use the timestamps in the description section. They are also posted as a pinned comment down below. Go to the timestamps. When you see things in a different color, that means you can click on it and it'll go to that exact spot in the video. That's what they're for. Um, what else? I think that's it. Let me get you <laughs> I down. forgot something. So before I get started, I'm gonna make a little PSA to all the people that leave nasty comments. If you don't like something, hopefully it's about the art and not the appearance of the person presenting the free information to you. So I've, last week I got a um, comment about needing to wear makeup from a woman. And then last night I got a comment um, on my last video that said that I look like the ugly drunk version of Velma from Scooby-Doo, <laughs> which actually made me laugh because it was such a good insult, I thought it was funny. However, that doesn't make it right. And if it keeps up, I'm and not just for me, for, for a lot of fluid artists that are brave enough to show our faces, maybe I should get, get us all together 
and pull Jimmy Kimmel and do a you know mean comment for fluid artists and put up a little video where each of us will read the awful comments we get. If you don't like the art, fine, fine. But comments um, on personal appearance is just, it's just wrong, man. Get a life. That's all I'm gonna say. Let me get the, the first one. Let's let's do some negative space on this guy. So I'm gonna put some paint down in this one corner. So that's good. And hmm, I'm gonna do the deep, the deep red here this time. I'm gonna put the pink on top. And then let's do the crimson red. And I'm actually gonna put in copper and see what happens. We'll use copper even though this is the uh, mix with the flow troll. We're gonna use it like a color for a second. And then let's put pink on top. Just gonna remember my order, all right and then black. Let's see what this one looks like. really pretty. So I'm going to leave that part white up there. I'll probably just put a dollop more paint. Um, I don't want to use the colored paint that's run off. Just letting this sew up or settle for a second. Um, and we'll just stick a little bit of white right here and on this corner. Although probably when I spin this off, I'm I might lose most of my negative space. But that's super pretty with the copper. Copper and red, can't go wrong. All right. Got the hint of pink in there. All right. I say I don't like this. I want that to look clean. That'll bug me. Oh, there, I got most of it. Got a little tip on the corner. I'm trying to decide if I like it with the negative space or if I should tilt it and um, do the whole thing like that. I just, hmm, do I want to leave that one corner or just do this and have it come off? There we go. I'm going to leave that one corner negative space. I think that looks cool. I like my black area there. That's been my new favorite thing as of late. Hmm. Yep, done with that one. Ta-da. Lots of copper. This is like the car. I don't know if it's conveying, but the copper and pink in here is really, really super pretty. So, yeah, that was easy. Wow. Knock on wood. Let me just grab him and move him as well. Ugh. I might slide things over a little. Let me tilt a little bit off this one corner. Just a little bit of the black. And I'm not happy with this one corner. Hold on, let me dork around a second. And just, there we go. I just didn't like how the paint was sitting, like kind of stuck in that corner. Let me put him off to the side. Uh, 
Don't drop it, Karen. I gotta move my stand. Hold on. There we go. Sorry for the wiggle. All right, the flip side of that. Okay, so let me show you something. And this is a don't do what Karen did moment. So when I tape this up, see, I taped the whole thing up. And see, when I folded over the handle, I folded it the wrong way. If you fold it up, you'll be able to lay, lay this flat. <laughs> and do your pour. Since I folded it down, this is, you know, make it an uneven. So I'm going to have to put this on probably like a cookie cutter or something, which will be interesting for spinning um, because that, that lid. So don't do that. Fold this up toward, toward the uh, area where you're going to do your pour. So we'll do that so it's level. Lesson learned. Let me turn this this way for me. So I'll do the same corner again. And then I'm gonna do um, just an eight by eight and a 10 by 10. And then we'll call it a night. So there we go. So what did I do? I did the dark brown. I gotta stare at my other one now. This terrible short-term memory. Good grief. Um, I know I did red and then crimson. Oh, I did that backwards, that's all right. I'll fix my mistake. This goes first. That was supposed to go first. And then this. Ah, so I'm just going to have an extra layer. And then the copper. All right, and then the pink. And then the black. And I got way too much paint on here. Don't do this either. Don't do that. Waste paint. Don't do that. Give that a second. I still got the um, copper cells. That looks great. I'm not going to worry too, too much if it's, you know, not completely matchy matchy. I like my negative space here. I'm not even going to bother there. That's going to come off. That should move to the corner. I just hope the whole thing doesn't fly off the cook the uh, cookie cutters. I need to get my white over. No, don't move. Yeah, it's very similar. Very similar. I don't like this. Like, I want just like the hard black line instead of like the, um, the watercolor effect. Like, I kind of want to take that off and just put white there. So this is just me being ultra picky to the max. Seriously. That is so picky. So I'm going to operate right there. Do a little operation. Leave that black line and then put white down. 
all the way across there. You two little little part there. Yep, I want that to be white. So let me just drizzle some white on. Give it a little push. Just make that white fall over the side. It's looking good. All right, I gotta make more room, and we'll do um, we'll do a little eight by eight. Be right back. Okay, I'm back with this 8x8, eight eight, and I think I'm going to change up the colors a little bit and um, use both copper and gold. Oh, I've got stuff all over my canvas. Hmm. There's the house paint. And let's start with, let's start with gold. Maybe a little more gold and the, we'll do a quinacridone crimson in honor of Veterans Day and then I mixed up some um, I had the copper as a cell activator. This is not, this just is copper mixed up with the pouring medium. So do a bunch of copper. Ooh, I like those three colors together. And then we'll do a black cell activator for this one. A little more, and there we go. And give this a blow, here we go. Was a very organized uh, blowout with the hair dryer, if I do say so myself. And just for giggles, you know, throw some on the ends. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this one though. Wow, I almost don't want to spin. Right, let's put red right there. Holy good grief. A little white spot on this corner. We'll put whitey gold stuff right there. I don't really think that needs puffed in the middle. I have a gray area right here that I went off. I don't know if I want to puff right there. I'll just leave it be. It's really pretty with the copper cells. Let's just spin it as is. Shall we? We shall. Get your hand out of the way. A little bit of black in the middle would be nice drama. Oh, what the heck is that black line? I don't like that. Actually, it's not that bad. Let me scrape around the sides without touching the canvas so you guys can see. I wonder if I need to get a little more paint off. I'm gonna go again, just, just because I want it to dry nicely. Um, maybe a little bit of that black will fly off. That would be nice, I just don't like that. Ah oh, yeah, see, paint's still flying off. Oh, there's a lump. There's a big old lumpy lump. Hold on, grab my little stick. Right here. What are you? 
What are you? You? Don't be messing up my beautiful painting. Hmm. Any more lumps? That was weird. I don't know what that was. Well, let's just give it a little baby spin and see if I get rid of it. Fix that little spot. <laughs> nope. Well, listen here, you. Let me hold this up so you guys can see it. Oop, low battery. Hold on. Let's see. Hold this up so you can see it. Oh, that one's really, really super, super pretty. Right? I got that one little tiny white spot. I got most of the black off. I'm going to bring this down a little. Put the weight of the paint. The paint in the middle is still like flying around pretty well. So I am going to give this one more spin. Cells are all keeping their shape. Let it go a second this time. Made the cells bigger. That white spot, I'm just gonna touch that up later. I got some big cells. I don't want them to start getting wonky, so ta-da for that one. Um, I'll do a close-up on, on everything later. So let me grab the other box. That's super pretty. I'll be right back. Okay, obviously, guys, full disclosure, I had to scrape this one and I'm not going to show the fail because I feel like the video is going to get long and I wanted to point out something as I redo this box is that I made the mistake of putting the handle down before I taped it all up see how it's taped everywhere flip your handle up don't do what Karen did because now it's not even so if you flip it up and then put it down to pour on it it'll lie flat so I'm just going to use a little cookie cutter so it is kind of flat to do the pour. Goober move. And, all right, so I've used the red. I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try throwing in some teal and seeing what that does. So I'm gonna do the crimson red again. But instead of, let's skip gold, let's skip orange. Then I'm gonna throw in some teal and then put copper on top of that. I don't know what this is gonna look like. And then I feel like this is still a little unlevel. Better. I'm a little worried about spinning it too. It's in there. I'm still gonna go with the black cell activator. And let's see what happens. I just don't like that color combo at all. That's a personal preference thing. I'll spin it out. I'm gonna lift this up and just give a puff in the middle. Try to keep my hair out of it. Get a little more in the middle. Give that a second. 
Oh, I just don't like those colors together. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't like it. I always try to force myself to like it. And then I, you know, then you always see me come back on, on camera and be like, yeah, I didn't like it. So let's just cut to the chase tonight and admit it up front and go again. And let's do... So teal is out for me. I'm not feeling the teal tonight. Let's do something brighter. So let's do the crimson. With some orange. Or vermilion. Copper or gold, copper or gold. I only have a little bit of gold left, so let's go off of gold. Save a little bit for the uh, next one. Make sure this doesn't go anywhere. That was such a dumb mistake with the handle. Yeah, I'm still not level. I'm gonna do this quick. this off I'm gonna let this sit and collect um, for a second I'm gonna move it off because it's not level and put it somewhere where it is level like right on the side here and then get rid of this and we'll do the other half uh, be right back I almost forgot you guys came very close like oh yeah put the camera back on so here's the other half. And this will kill off the crimson. And what did I do? Orange? And gold? Is that what I did? Something, I think that's what I did. And this will kill off the gold for sure. So I'm low on colors now. I'm going to make some more up. Uh-oh, that's hardly any gold, right? I need to dig it out. All for that one drop. Well, that's it. Alright, give this a blow and then we'll put the first first the other half back on. going to pour off that one spot I don't like. Not even going to wait. Let's see, sayonara. Because there's a ton of paint on here. And I'm going to move this one off to the side. You can sit up on my ledge. Put this back up here. And try to give this a spin without it flying off anywhere. That all collected. Give a little push. Just a baby spin, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I want that little piece of black off. I'd like to get some of the white off. 
That was a good spin. Almost there with the black. Almost there with the white. One more, because I'm greedy. So I always say. Oh yeah, that's a winner, that's a keeper. I love the pops of pink. That is awesome. So I'm gonna move him. Oh, no. Put him back where he was, over here. And stay there. Put the other half back. It's all kind of collected in the middle, like that. I don't know if I was worth giving out a puff or not. Hmm. I'll leave it be. I like to, uh, hopefully when I spin this one, it'll lighten up a little bit and we'll see some more of the pink. Not pink, orange. You know what I mean, the orange. <laughs> yep. I wonder if I need to spin it to get some more paint off. That's gonna close up as it sits. I'm gonna go, let me, Move this so you can see. Don't touch your uh, substrate when you scrape off your spinner. You don't want to mess up the sides. Although, these sides don't matter because they're taped. It only has a little ledge. All right. That's awfully pretty, right? One more, just to get off some paint. Did we? Oh yeah, a whole bunch came down the sides. Ta-da, that one is great. That is a pretty little pair. Let me uh, find a safe spot for both of them. Be right back. Okay, kind of do or die because uh, I'm just about out of colors and uh, cell activator. So I'm gonna go with this crimson red. Teal left. I really want teal. I'm gonna make up some more teal. So there's my teal cup. I'm just gonna go and add a little more pouring medium. A little squirt of teal. Give that a quick mix. And I'm going to put vermilion on top of that. Followed by what do I have left? Some red. A little bit of red. Cell activator. Let's put this in the middle. Oh, it's sticking now. Now you're sticking. Let's blow this out. I think I might um messy blow it. So like disorganize. <laughs> really wanted to mix up the colors.
letting that metal sit a second. I think I'm going to tilt this. Oh, that's like, real, I really indented that. I'm going to turn the camera off and wash my hands. That needs to pull because it's like down to the canvas right there. And then um, I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. I gave that time to collect. I love the middle part. Um, I think I'm going to do both. I'm going to spin and then tilt. I think I'll throw on gloves because I just cleaned up my hands. Um, liking all the little bits of color everywhere, though. So, yeah, we'll give it a spin to get um, some paint to the corners. Oh, it's brightening up too. And then let me take it and tilt down this way just a little bit. Oh wait, not too much. I like the little flares of pink and white. There's like uh, so much color on here that I am tempted to put another bloom or two on it. Like I'm not real, real crazy about like all this stuff here. Just to experiment. Or do I leave it? Let me step back. Let me give it another spin, see if I can get off parts that I don't like first. Oh, Karen. Karen. <laughs> you know better. You gotta push it in. All right. Just gonna let it go a second. Oh. Ta-da! Now I love it. It got rid of all the dark areas. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yep. Just like that. Ta-da! Yes. Um, I think that's it for me. This is like a long video too. I gotta splice it all together. Let me get you down for a close-up um, of all these guys. I'm gonna leave this one right here. Uh, and um, show you the boxes, etc. Hold on. Okay, so full disclosure, it's really like a half an hour later because the really cool box with the browns and the copper, uh, I dropped one of them. And I said, son of a bleep, bleep, bleep. And I had to redo it and I was out of the brown. So I'll show you, and I didn't feel like filming it because I had taken my container downstairs so actually they had to redo the the box and i did it downstairs so it didn't get filmed i'm really really sorry anyway you did see me film this one here uh i can't get the i can't get the bling to show up man here's the other side really quite cool i love the little um area of pink up there so those two go together and then here is my um gold copper and crimson in honor of remembrance day or veterans day uh that guy there really really happy with that like the composition of that one very much and then here's the one i just redid i was so mad um so i just used the same colors i had to make up a little more gold and um i like the composition of these guys too so there's the little twinsies um lack of imagination on my part because I was mad and so I just used the same colors as this. And then finally <laughs> is this guy too, all bright and happy and chipper. I love all the different colors. I'm glad I mixed it up a bit and uh, too cool for school, man. Let me turn around and say goodbye. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show you. So that painting behind me, that's the one that mocks me because that's what I was trying to recreate for a week and couldn't do, not even close. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Where am I looking? Over here. 
Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, just to give you a little preview, I'm kind of just a smidgen bloomed out. Um, I am going to revert back to my old pour and medium recipe and do a couple flip cups and some flipping lips and uh, break out the silicone even and the torch and uh, goof off that way. So um, look for that in a couple days. It won't be as long as this time. Anyway, you guys take care. Be kind to everybody and to yourselves and uh, peace out.